gone here. Pause so. Wait, Jake run over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did that actually happen? Uh, anyways. Game one. Nelvin versus Blank. Uh, uh. <laughs> I might have to look soon. But, uh, anyways. Yeah. I think these two players are pretty up there. In terms of like the, the CT kind of power game, I don't know. The CT skill level, there we go. Um that'll be a pretty nice daisy. Blank with pretty nice daisy. Let me actually commentate this match. Ooh, that is what I want to see more. I wanna see more edge guards. I feel like people I feel like people get away too much. Where it's like they they'll try to do like the safe game plan of uh, less trapping. But like you mess up once, because less trapping is fairly hard in this game. It's actually harder in this game than it is in four, because you know buffs and stuff. But yeah, you have to you have to edge you have to edge guard, especially as like Peach, because I know this matchup is like super duper dumb for uh, for Diddy, but it might be it, it definitely got a little better for Peach just because like she gets more off of hit now, but like she still has to like. She still has to like play with her float like so much, so much differently, just because of like both banana and like fair. Like those two combined are like super duper, uh, super duper good for Diddy in this matchup. So it really matters that you get your hit off and you get your edge guard off and you get your kills early and you get your not sour spot backers. I have a feeling. Wait, yeah, these two are brothers, I think. I I heard from someone that these are brothers. So Oh Oh Back there on a shield. Yeah, that's another thing, like Uh Diddy has like fair like he has aerials out of shield. He also has the fastest up smash out of shield in the game. Frame five. It's crazy. Um It does look like these two players just have played for, played for like a fairly long time. I like the uh, I like the aggressive up from Nelvin, and I also like how he reacted. That blank was nowhere to be found near him, so he just kind of like vibe and chilled. What's up, Swigzy? I just saw you. Anyways, Ooh. blank has the like. This is where this is where blank needs to like either get a peach combo or just like a ledge trap or even. Or even a silly edge guard, because we all know that Diddy is one of the most susceptible characters in the game to silly edge guards. And uh, with float, and you know her lingering down air, her lingering there, fast back air. Ooh, like Blank can win the game at any point with an edge guard. But like, I feel like he's not enforcing it that much. I don't know. He's the Peach player, not me. Anyways, wow, another like, like just good, good side, not side B, uh, up B from Nelvin. Ooh, actually gonna interrupt the up bear. I like, I like both of those interactions, where it's like I'm gonna relax and take, and take my stage control, and Blank was gonna, Blank was gonna catch Nelvin like off guard with that counter. Ooh. Or try to grab banana and uh, another high recovery from Nelvin. But Blank kind of step ahead with that up air. Ooh, up smash out of shield is gonna take it at a fairly, I want to say, early percent for Daddy to be honest. 120 ish. I honestly didn't think that that would have killed. I thought that was, I thought he was gonna live. But Peach is kind of light. And you just have like tiny bit of rage. Tiny bit of rage. Yeah. Although that was very close. And for a matchup like a uh, Diddy Daisy. That's pretty good. 
So, uh, I think we just went to PS2? No, we're gonna go to town. Um, last time that Blank was on an FD-like stage, he actually beat a Zelda. Which is, like, one of the characters that gets boosted by FD the most. <laughs> so, um, this can be good. This can be good for Blank. But this can also be good for, uh, Melvin, because... A. Diddy on FD. That's all I gotta say. And, uh, B. Uh, he can... Can kill off the side. A little bit earlier. But, up smash is also, like, <laughs> one of the ways Nelvin has been taking stocks. So, like, that might not be too helpful. A. A. I was right. A. I was right. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, yeah. Wow, he... He, like matrix that oh my god what the heck and honestly like if if blank wait that's a dot ice okay if blank gets the stock right now because he took him to smash not smashville counter city like that's just that's just the stage counter pick coming to his favor and right now i mean like he got he got a pretty good chunk of percent just from ledge trapping Nelvin, but Nelvin's gonna take the stock on the other side of the stage. Right now, you can see just like, just in that interaction, how like, how normally Peach's float is like super duper good. But like, Nelvin can like, just mitigate that because like, he has banana, like, banana and shield makes it so that like, you can short hop, throw the banana, and then aerial. So Nelvin is forced to float really high. Pretty good, pretty good bait with that down there. That was a pretty good bait. I don't know if it was a bait, but Blank caught Nelvin slipping. Caught Nelvin slipping. Wow, he's actually gonna miss the dash attack. Only get 30. That's uh, that's uh, that's uh, not good. All right, another 30-ish percent. Actually, more like 40-ish percent right there. Ooh, Nelvin's starting to come back from this game. Oh, he was not reacting right there. Ooh. Ooh, the flow. I don't know if that was Diddy up smash charging or if that was just uh, Daisy down there. But uh, Daisy down there gonna catch Nelvin. I feel like every time I feel like like the first half of like each of their stocks, like they'll play neutral like fairly passively. That was a great catch by Nelvin, by the way. And then, like, after... After someone gets to, like, 80 or 90... Like, they'll turn up the heat, and they'll start, like, pressing forward a lot more. Like, I feel like that happens to both these players, where, like... Like, they'll get to, like, 80, and then they'll start, like, hard pressing for the kill. Like, I feel like... I feel like that's a theme in this set right now. Ooh, bit of a clash for the clanks right now. Double up air. Only gonna pull a turn up though. Ooh. Side be gonna come from blank. Up throw up air. Not gonna do it though. Great the on the up air. He could have died if he died that like a uh, atrociously. And uh, this game is starting to get close. But right now, right now, uh, Nelvin is looking way more poised to take. I feel like up smash might, might kill. Maybe, maybe with a little bit more percent. Hey, should have had more percent. Uh, now it'll definitely kill. I mean, nah, you can just see Nelvin. He loves that up smash. It's, it is so good though. Like that's another reason why this matchup is like doo doo for Peach. Cause like you're gonna float above me. I'll just up smash with my frame five up smash. You're not reacting to that. Anyways, Nelvin gonna take game two. Uh, we are gonna go back to town and city. Um, um, maybe he could have pushed it to FD, but I mean, like, did he on FD? I don't know. At, at some point, you just gotta say, like, it's a stage, yeah, the house has pros and cons, but, like, whatever. It will benefit me more than him. Uh, Blank gonna say, no, it won't benefit me more than him. I'm gonna go to town. Because, uh, Stitch. Anyways. Well, it's not just Stitch. It's just, like, 
high ceiling of town, like, super duper helps. And the side blast zones for Daisy also helps her kill in the sense that, like, 99% of her kills are to the side. Like, yeah, you do have up smash. Can't get up air. Catch, like, a high recovery. Oh, that was a bit of a sus DI, but there is nowhere close to dying. Anyway, we have a the breakneck breakneck game already at a hundred ish percent per and only forty five seconds have gone. That's that's actually crazy. Air pressure almost dying off a forward throw. Uh, back actually gonna take some center stage. Nothing with the. Another lead. Oh, this tech. And that's going to be another 30% added to that combo. Nice item catch with a turn up. Nelvin has just turned this lead. Oh, what? Not Nelvin. Blank has just turned this lead up, but Nelvin's going to take that stock and uh, kind of stall on that angel platform. Whether it was for the angel drop. Angel drop. Whether it was for the what's it called? Platforms or not? Who knows? He does. That was so creative. That was so smart. That was super duper smart from Blank. Now he has a whole stock lead. This is this is definitely the biggest lead that Blank has ever had this set. Well, he actually floated over the banana. I'm kind of surprised. I thought he would have had to gone higher. Great, great catch on the monkey flip. And now he's overlapped him by a fairly solid amount. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Blank with a pretty saucy two stock. Damn. There is no DSR. No DSR, right? Yes, no DSR. All right, I did not see where they went to because had to tell them there's no DSR. Um, maybe we go to like Smash Bowl or something, or PS2. Uh, he did win on the stage, so I can definitely see it being like really good. You know, it does. It has like an average, average height. Uh, what's it called? Ceiling. And up smash has been the name of the game for like most of Nelvin stocks, and like. Killing off the side has been the name of the game for most of Blank's stock. So like, this does help Melvin quite a bit. Also, those plat like those stagnant platforms right there, like that's that kind of like what's it called? That like makes the flow of the game more predictable. That was not predictable, however. That was the first time he's kind of just like messed up and up being out of disadvantage. But Nelvin with the immediate retaliation. Jesus. We have quite the set right here. We have quite the game right here. Nelvin starting to starting to build up some momentum. I love that ledge option. Just the immediate reversal. Ooh. This is so back and forth. Like, Jesus Christ. This is super duper back and forth. Although, like, every time they, like, every time they get in, they only get, like, 20, 30 percent. Like, like, it's never, it's never, like, uh, what's it called? Like, no one ever has, like, those moments where they'll just, like, kill someone in one hit or, like, one string. Like, right there. Like Nelvin got Nelvin got like I wanna say fifty-ish percent and then got the edge guard. That was a really nice edge guard from Nelvin. But like, that's the first time that's happened this set. Or this game rather. Oh, fair not actually gonna hit, but it's gonna get the grab anyways. I love I love Nelvin's reaction to that. And I love how Blank is just not giving up stage control, keeping the pressure up. And now, last stock game four. Jesus Christ. The momentum on both of these players right now. No one wants to stop. They all just, they just both want to 
keep holding forward, keep being like aggressive and like going in. I love it. The item play. Ooh. Another monkey flip to catch that shield. Just like Nelvin is Nelvin's monkey flips this game. They've been super on point. As I say as he misses a one. Wow, that actually didn't ledge cancel. Huh, that would that would be busted, Blake, so. Kind of surprised. Anyways. A little bit of a, a little bit of like a projectile ish ish war. Bomber gonna break it though. Purple <laughs> monkey flip's just gonna keep it back. Both these players understand that uh you know this is it. This this can be it. This can be it for uh Nelvin. Like if he gets this he gets this just one stock. We'll be in winner's grand side, but Blake watch that chance. He just wants that extra win, and then he wants that game five. You just, this honestly feels like a game five. This honestly feels like a game five. Like, just the way these players are playing right now, this does not feel like game four. The patience on Nelvin. It's so absurd. He's just not letting the pressure go. Banana gonna dissipate. Back, you're gonna take it, and now Blank gets the game five he wants. Oh my god, what the heck's happening over there? <laughs> that was a... Uh, that was a... Uh, that was close. That was close. A little too close for comfort. Race off the blank for like... Consistently keeping his like posture. And just like, you know, just his mental composure. Like never, never losing out in it. But yeah. Game five. This is gonna be a slugfest. Cause like most of these players, they're like, oh yeah, no, blank shaking his head. Both these players just like want to like, like, what's it called? Like they both want. Like you can tell like they both really want to like to win this set. And it's also that like, like the way they were playing, like every one of these games where it's like super interaction heavy with each other. Nice DI. Like, it's only gonna go. <laughs> it's only gonna get like more and more aggressive, un unless it goes to like a last hit situation, like it did last game. Meaty fair from Blank. Gonna go for the another counter on the banana. I do like that option, although it's ruined his card once. Down to up smash, still gonna connect. Wow, I think gonna take it. Although, if this was anything like last set, uh, Blank should be, uh, should be able to get the kill early. Not early, but in this nearby future. Wow! Dodging! Dodging the turn up. Another near grab from Blank. Jesus. Melvin is starting to wait a little bit, just a little bit. On his like, every time he like just interacts with him, like he's just he's also just like consistently like using these barrels just to get away from Blank, and like he's like he's been waiting ever so slightly, ever so slightly, on like each, every one of these interactions. Oh my god, that was great conditioning as well. Like he's been waiting ever so slightly that like he's gotten so much off of just like Blank whipping things and then getting like 10%, 20%. All right, pack throw. Not gonna be it. That's that's really bad. That's that's definitely not it as well. Okay, that is it. My bad. The one time I say that's not it, that's crazy. This can affect. This rage can affect Peach combos a good amount. Blank still has a third stock to play around with, and. uh... Uh, I would say he can't get edge guarded, but like Nelvin hasn't gotten edge guarded once this set, because like he'll, he'll consistently just like try to recover high. So like even if he gets hit, like it doesn't matter too much. And it's also like the fact that like Daisy's like Daisy's jump height is like average-ish. So like the fact ooh, the fact that like Nelvin can go so high so quickly while Daisy can't, that's like 
That's big. And right now, Nelvin, or not Nelvin, Blink starting to edge ever so closer to death. Down throw. Just patient on the Nelvin. The up B. Gonna send him up there and at a hundred percent. Down to up smash at a hundred ish percent. Actually gonna take it. That was an excellent.